damn. My eyelashes are like, my hair, I'm just, Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am so fucking tired. But welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing like an essentials Doberman owner list, I guess. Or everything that I use pretty much on the daily. I just wanted to share these things with you. And by the way, just wanted to say that this video is not sponsored by any brands that I'm gonna mention today. These are things that I have found on my own, done my own research about, and these are things that I also use on the daily with Draco and Katana, as well as my other two dogs as well. But I feel like some of these are more geared towards like large dog breeds. So if that sounds interesting, keep on watching and I'll see you guys soon. I also wanted to give like a little life update as well since I feel like I like to connect with like my followers. Recently I just started school at Chapman University. It's my first time going back to campus like in person and it's so freaking weird like I literally it's weird to have to wear a mask to like every single class because I'm like dying because it's been so hot but yeah I just recently started school again and from going online for like almost two years to going back in person is just so weird to me on that note just letting you guys know that I'm going to be a little bit more focused and busy in school so my uploads might be a little bit inconsistent but I'll try to upload at least once a week for you guys another big I guess it's not even that it's like not really big news, but I've expanded the pet family, but I ended up going to the reptile expo this weekend and I got myself a jumping spider. This one specifically is, I'm, I don't want to butcher it, but I believe it is Phytopus regillus, 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 but also known as the regal jumping spider. They love hiding, but she's in this little tiny ball, so I can't really show you guys her, but I kind of just put together this little terrarium, and I'm really excited to have her part of the family. I love jumping spiders. I've always wanted one, so I finally ended up getting her. I became obsessed. I've had her for a couple days now. Her name is Ponzu, but my other newest addition, he is like in a little deli cup right now. He's like in the corner. You can't even see him. I actually don't even know if it's a male or female yet because they were unsexed when I got them, but he's actually just in this temporarily. So my friend went with me and she's like, oh my God, it's like the size of a crumb. And I was like, that is a great name. I'm naming he, she, whatever it is. Um, I'm naming it Crumb. All right, so enough ranting about life updates and new pets and everything. Let's finally get into the video. But I'm gonna try to split these kind of like items up into different categories. So as as of right now, I'm gonna go over kind of like food stuff. So first up, ultra oil. This stuff, I swear to God, is God sent. I mean, it is a skin and coat supplement. I have been looking forever for a kind of like an oil that doesn't reek of like fish oil. And this stuff, like I've used so many other brands and it smells so bad and it makes their breath smell bad. I absolutely hate it. And this stuff is so amazing. And you can also use it for cats too. And it pretty much is like sardine anchovy and hemp seed oil. I'm not gonna go super in depth about each product either. I'm just gonna say why I use it and why I like it. So next up is Bernie's Perfect Poop. <laughs> Draco. So Bernie's Perfect Poop is one of these things where I found randomly, I think on Amazon, and I swear by this stuff. It had so many good reviews. I go through a lot of bags, but I purchased my first bag on Amazon and I decided to give it a try. And honestly, when Draco was a puppy, he didn't have the best stools. Um, I was looking for kind of like a, something to like help with like, he had like really smelly farts too. So I was looking kind of for like a probiotic, like a supplement that would help with like his GI tract issues. It wasn't even like an issue, but it was just like very, his poops were so smelly. He was having like liquidy, like, like not the firmest stool. After adding this stuff, it has been a lifesaver for all of my dogs, for all four dogs. It's like these little bits and I have like my little scoop in there as well. Draco, I know you love it so much. I opened the bag and he thinks he's getting some. Oh God. Next up, we have these treats, just in general. Fish treats, Draco's favorite. He's not really food motivated whatsoever. He's more like prey drive motivated. Katana's more food motivated, but even she's like really picky about some treats. This stuff from Plato's, um, what is it? Plato's Pet Treats. They love this stuff so much. I mean, I think because it just smells like straight up fish. I always have a bag of these on deck. They're really reasonably priced too. 
and yeah they just love them next up we have this little guy oh my god good job <laughs> this here is called a sleek easy and as you guys can see it's pretty much a horse it looks like a horse brush I mean it is a horse brush but it's called the sleek easy it has little teeth and it's pretty much a brush it's a brush for short haired pets this thing is one of the only things that can get the undercoat out without like hurting them I guess I've used other brushes before and I just feel like they're a little bit too like wide for them and honestly like the de-shedding factor of this it gets out so much fur dirt so this stuff I love and I live for it one of our favorites cannot live without it all right next up is kind of like toys so this here I thought it was called it was it's by Kong and it's pretty much an enrichment toy and I love this one because I don't need to put it in the freezer I don't need to prep anything for it so there's two openings and or actually there's four I'm, I'm sorry so there's one right here there's a little one right here as well, and there's one right here and one over here, and I like this one. Just He's really relaxing on her back. That is the cutest thing. I like this one because I don't need to freeze it. I don't need to do any prep work for it. I can literally just throw like pieces of like kibble in here. And if I'm gonna like go run errands really quickly and they're gonna be home alone for a little bit of time, I can just give this to them and it takes them like quite some time to, you know, figure it out. The next thing I have, or the next toy I have here is this. This I've mentioned before, but is the West Paws Zogo Flex Topple. And I've talked about this one before about like enrichment toys and everything. But this one's another one of my favorites. It's I just it's just easy to use, and um, I pretty much just stuff them with treats and throw them in the freezer, and it's pretty much good to go. And it takes them quite some time to finish, and it's also very easy to clean. I literally just like throw this in the dishwasher, and sometimes they're unable to like finish everything at the bottom, so it does get kind of gross sometimes. And when they're unable to finish it, I just throw it in the dishwasher and it pretty much cleans like really nicely. So another one of my favorites just because it's really versatile and they end up really liking it as well. All right, so those were kind of like the toys. Those were kind of like enrichment toys. Obviously, I also use like tennis balls daily. Um, they love, I don't have them because they're in the backyard, but they also really love the Chuck It brand for, and it's called Ultra Balls. Also something that I don't have with me at the moment is the, um, it's from the Squishy Face Studios. I'll insert a picture of it like right here or something but it's from the squishy face studios and it is a flirt pole draco recently just broke his i don't know how that happened i think i left it on the floor in the backyard and he just like chewed the rope off and honestly that flirt pole is like one of my favorite flirt poles of all times i like used so many other different brands and this is like the only one that's like extremely durable but that's also another toy that we really really love and something that we use on the daily as well all right so toys we did toys we did treats so now we're gonna do kind of like training tools I feel like this might be a little controversial, but this is what works for me. Both of these tools have been introduced by professional trainers, so I just didn't go on my own and just like put these on my dogs and expected to know how to use them properly. But e-collars. So this is something that we use with them on the daily. They are currently using the Dogtra brand. This is the model called the Arc. And honestly, this stuff like has changed their training like for the better. We used to use it daily, but we don't use it every day with them anymore just because I feel like they don't need it. The straps, they obviously don't come with these straps, but I got these straps custom made um, by a shop on Etsy. It is like a biothane material. Another thing is I'm not a dog trainer. I don't train dogs. I just know how to handle my dogs very well. So, and this is something that I use with them, but Yes, e-collars. <laughs> All right, item number two is the prong collar. So this is another thing that's controversial. It's what works with me and my dog, so you don't need to follow it if you don't want to. So this one specifically is by Herm Springer, and the, that is like the only brand that I would trust buying a prong collar from. If you felt the difference between a Herm Springer prong collar and a prong collar that you just buy at your like a random one that you just buy at like Petco or PetSmart you can feel the difference in like the metal material it honestly feels more sturdier and just a little bit more better a lot not a little bit a lot more better quality than the ones that you can purchase at your like local pet store like I said especially with like the e-collar same thing goes for the prong collar just make sure you consult with your um 
with your professional, like with your dog trainer or with a trainer before introducing anything like this to your dog. All right, next up is our leash. So obviously I didn't want to go and talk about basic dog items that every dog should probably have. Like I didn't want to say like, this is a dog bowl. I just wanted to go through like things that worked best for me. So this here, I think it's, I don't know how long it is, but it's freaking long. And I forgot the brand, but I did get it on Amazon. It is a biothane leash. And this is like one of my favorites, especially when it comes to like loose leash walking with Draco and, and Katana, I have two of these. It is biothane, it's just a really long lead and it's like that material that is like weatherproof pretty much. But I like thin leashes that feel like I'm not holding on to something like super thick. So it's like the perfect width and it just like fits in my hand like really nicely. And I highly recommend getting like a biothane leash if you guys don't have one already. It will literally change like the game. I've had like cloth leashes, I've had leather leashes. I've had like different materials. I had pleather. I've had I've had so many leashes. We go through so many. We still have a bunch, but there's only a handful of them that I actually use. And now on to uh, I guess what is this even called? Like home stuff. This thing is so beat up and like gross, but this is a must have for the dogs. I like thin beds and I don't know if that's just me and my dogs love it too because they've freaking chewed the shit up. So this bed, I have this in their crate along with like a bunch of blankets and I feel like it just like works best for like them and for me because cleaning is like a big deal in this household obviously. I'm always looking for the next thing, like the easiest thing to clean and something that's comfortable for them too. And I think this, um, I don't know, I'll show you guys. Like, Draco loves this thing. He's actually laying on it right now. <laughs> so this, like, thin bed mat is just, like, so easy to clean. I just throw it in the washer. And it was really affordable, too. I don't think it was that expensive. And, um... It's easily replaceable. I mean, I'm not gonna spend like $50 on like a dog bed that they're gonna probably chew up because Draco loves to suckle. Last but not least is this dog food container from Simple Human. Everyone always asks me where I get this and I think I got it on Amazon, but it was like $140, which kind of sounds like a lot or I think it was like around that price, but it's honestly worth it. So this is what it looks like on the outside. Sorry, it's like tucked in and it's full of food. But this is how you open it and then inside all the kibble and it also comes with a doggy like a dog food scoop as well which is really nice and yeah it keeps like the food fresh and lovely it doesn't smell or anything all right guys just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching that concludes pretty much my essentials list item video thing or something like that but um i hope this video helped you guys kind of like pick and learn about like new items that I use pretty much on the daily. Obviously I didn't go in depth about like food stuff or like any specific topic. It was kind of like a general overview of things that worked for me for the past like two years ever since I've had Draco. I cannot believe I've had him for two years now. That is absolutely insane. It was a lot of trial and error to find these like specific items for you guys. I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and also I think we're almost at 2000 subscribers which is literally insane because i just started this channel like less than a month ago and i didn't expect for it to grow like as well as it is right now so i'm really glad that you guys are enjoying my content and my videos don't forget to like and subscribe it really means a lot to me and i appreciate you guys for watching all my content and loving it and commenting and i try to get back to every single person's comments so i really appreciate um comments and stuff like that or maybe even critiques that would be great but just wanted to say thank you guys so much again for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one Bye.